It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a Hugo von Hofmannsthal. Born in Vienna in 1874, he is best known as a poet, dramatist, essayist, and librettist for such operas like Die Frau in a Schatten, which opens this summer, June 4th. He began writing as a student, and his early works were published under the pseudonyms Loris Melikov or Theophil Moren because he wasn't allowed to publish as a student. After meeting Strauss, Hugo von Hofmannsthal began to write entirely for the stage, and over the next 20 years, they wrote operas like Elektra, Der Rosenkavalier, Arabella, Ariadne of Naxos, and Die Frau in Schatten, which is making a comeback this summer, June 4th. His works are associated with the symbolist movement. The artists and the poets of this time sought to express the individual emotional experience through subtle and suggestive symbolized language. The artists and poets of this time are Stefan Marlamé, Paul Verlaine, Vincent van Gogh, and Paul Gauguin. Strauss and Hofmannsthal not only wrote operas, but with Max Reinhardt and Alfred Roller, they founded the Salzburg Festival in 1920. This was to combat the sadness of the post-World War I era through beauty of music and culture. And lastly, the first Strauss Hofmannsthal opera to make an appearance at San Francisco Opera was Elektra in 1938, and Die Frau in a Schatten is making a comeback after a 34 year hiatus. Go to sfopera.com to get your tickets.